What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and today we're at it again with another video. Today we're going to demonstrate how to enable data saver and limit high resolution media on Instagram. So the question is why do we want to enable data saver and limit high resolution media on Instagram? First, this is an important feature for anyone who's on a data plan where you pay for data as it's used. For example, as a Google Fi user, I pay $10 per gig of data used in a billing cycle. Now, the goal of a data plan like this is to save money on data. If we enable data saver and limit high resolution media, we can reduce the amount of data used in a billing cycle. This in turn will reduce our bill for that cycle. Second, with data saver enabled and high resolution media limited, our feed can possibly load fast in situations where we might not have the best data connection. So all things said, let's go ahead and get into it. To start things off, I included a screen recording in this video here so you can follow along and see how to do this. So normally when you open Instagram, you'll start at the home screen and that's indicated by the home icon in the shelf at the bottom of the screen. Now the shelf has five options and we wanna tap the option to the far right, the one that looks like the person and that's gonna be our profile. Once on our profile, we can tap the hamburger menu in the top right hand corner. Now you see we have this menu that slides out from the right. At the bottom of this menu, you're gonna see a gear icon with the word settings next to it. We're gonna tap on that. Choosing this selection brings us to a new page with a list of new options. So we wanna look for an icon. It's a circle with a person in it and it says account next to it. And we're gonna tap on that. And this will open up a whole new page with again, a list of more options. Now in the middle of this list, we're gonna see an option called cellular data use and we're gonna tap on that. Now this brings up a new page with options related to cellular data settings. Now turning on data saver here is pretty simple. There's a slider, we're just gonna tap on that and that's gonna turn the slider blue and now data saver is enabled. Now there is another option hidden under the data saver. It's called high resolution media. Now high resolution media is media that's just more complex. It's gonna be things like crystal clear video and images. Now it's important to note, you can't change the settings for high resolution media until you've turned on data saver. So if we go ahead and tap on high resolution media, this will give us a few options to choose from and you'll just choose the option that works best for you. Now, once our choices are made, we can back out by tapping the back arrow several times in the top left hand corner. Now you're ready to start saving data. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything that you do buy from the Amazon storefront does support the channel. The next way to support the channel is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to support the channel is just by tapping that subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the channel. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers. When they see likes and subscribers, they think that the videos are helpful and the channel is worth watching. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out.